please make sure you thoroughly check your settings before arming your drone and make sure that you have taken your props off before you test your radio setup. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to have a look at how we set up a drone in our Radio Master Boxer. So let's switch over to the radio and we will go through the process. Now you can see I've already set the drone up. The first thing we have to do is set up a basic model. So what we need to do is hit the model button. We're going to go down to a spare slot. We're going to push enter and create. Now that there gives us a basic model which we now can go and edit. But I'm going to switch back to my drone model and we will okay let's see radio talking to us right now we're going to go to the first screen now you can see under the name i've put drone you could put whichever um, drone it is whichever type of drone that you've got but i've just put drone now i've set up a timer so that you can uh, have warnings on the radio you don't need to do this because we would normally on the drone do this via the battery voltage keep an eye on it and then uh, come back and land and if I click enter, you can see the options that we've got. Now, the one I use is when the throttle is activated, the timer will start. And if you push the throttle back, the timer will stop. Now, if we go down, you can see I've set the time up for one minute and 10 seconds. Obviously, this would be a lot longer. I've just done this for demonstration purposes. And we're going to select remain. Now, that will be everything in here. I'm not going to go through the... Um, process of binding in this video so that will be everything we need to set up in here let me just go down and check okay right we are going to actually there's another thing we need to look at and that is the ADC filter now this we need to turn off for a drone we would use this if we're using uh, servos but if we're not using servos, if we're using a flight controller, we can turn this off. This can be done globally. Now, gl globally, I've set this to be on all the time. So I would have to select it off in the actual for, for a drone. That was because I fly both fixed wings and uh, drones. So if we come out of here, let me just go through. Now, the ADC filter can be set up as a global setting so that it's standard for all of your different models but if you're flying fixed wing and drones you would want to change this so this is set up this radio is set up for default the adc filter is on so let's go and check that out if we hit the system button and we go across until we get to the hardware and if we go down There's the ADC filter and you can see the global setting is on. So we're going to come back out of there. If you only fly drones, then you could just turn that off. So we're going to go back to our settings on our drone. So if we go down again to the bottom, you can see I've set the ADC filter off. Right, so that is the setup window. If we go across now to flight modes, I'm not going to go into flight modes in this video. There will be a video about flight modes that will come up later, but to, to set up your drone, you don't need to have those. All right, let's go across, and you can see there are our standard inputs. So we've got all I've done, these are standard as per the basic model. I've just put the name in if I edit those. Oops, a daisy, and edit. You can see I put the name in. So you can see I put roll there. Let me come back out. So you can see we've got uh, my channel mapping is AETR, and then you can see that we've got roll, pitch, throttle, and your. That is absolutely standard. I've just put those names in for the video so you can see them. So you wouldn't need to do anything in here. Now, if we go to the mixes, you can see the first four channels. There they are, the, it's the AETR. Then you need to set up your arm switch. Now you can see there that mine says minus 100. That's because I have my um, switch when it's disarmed forward, not back. So my default is with the switch towards me. 
so that I can flick that when I'm, I'm flying. So, but you may want it the other way around. So the only reason it's minus uh, 100 weight is because I turned the switch round. So if we go into there, let's edit that. And you can see on the mix, I've put the mix name is arm. I've chosen the switch. Now, if you, if you hit the enter button, if, which, if we pick another switch, you can see it's changing the switch for you. So there we go. You've chosen the switch that I want. Do we see the mate weight is minus 100 and everything else will be default in there. You, you don't need to do anything else. Okay, so we're gonna come back out. Then you can see on channel six, so that's channel five on channel six. If I edit that, you can see I've done the mode switch. So I've, I've put the mix name mode. I've chosen this switch here. Angle mode, horizon mode, angle mode. Okay, and Acro the mode. default weight will be 100, that's correct. So that's everything you need to do in that mix. Let me come back out. Now we've got, if you're just going to set up a buzzer, there you can see I've put the mix name in buzzer. You're going to pick the switch, which in my case was, was D. And again, the default um, weight of 100. Okay, we come out. So now we've set up our mixes. Let's go across. Outputs, we will do nothing in here. The curves, nothing in there. A logical switches, nope, nothing. Then we go to the special functions. Now, I like having the sound. You could hear. And, disarmed. And. Angle mode, horizon mode, angle mode, acro mode. So they're all activated by these special functions. And you can see that I've selected the switch. I've set the option I've, I've selected is play track and then I pick the track. So again, if you click on the, the button enter and then click again, it will start flashing. You can now detect the, uh, choose the bu button you want to use. So if I use B again, Angle mode. Mode. I don't want that one. I want this one here. I want switch A, that's the one I'm using. So this would be, that would be armed. Okay, and then you can see I've played the track for armed and then disarmed. And then you can see I'll set a track up for the acro mode, angle mode, horizon mode, and then for the buzzer. Now, the reset one there is to do with the timer. So you need to put that onto a switch, which should be here. Timer one reset. So I'm just pushing timer the one reset. button that resets the timer. And then you select reset, you select timer one, and then you activate it by cl clicking the option in that box there. And then I've just made, I've played a track that tells you that it's actually done it. What I want to do is to show you the global setting for your volume so that you can uh, activate the sounds. Now we need to, we need to do this and we can set it to um, a switch. So I'm going to give you a demonstration on the radio. If I just go to, if I turn this switch down, you can hear it's not working. If I turn it up a little bit. Turn it right up. Disarmed. And. So we can set this up to be able to change the volume. You know, if it's becoming, especially when I'm doing YouTube channels, I don't want this on loud because it obviously it'll affect the recording. So let's let's have a look at this. So we're going to go to the system menu, and we're going to go across until we get to the global functions. And you can see there, the first global function I've got is volume. So if we just edit this. Oh, whoops a daisy, go like that. And we're going to edit. So we turn, we will put it on. We choose the function volume. We choose our switch we want, which is this one. And you just then activate it by clicking that box. And that simples that. Now you have control over the volume. You can turn that up or down. Right, if we move over in telemetry, I'm going to go through telemetry with another video. This is, we have to tell the system once it's all linked up and bound, we need to tell it to look for whatever telemetry sensors there are. So we, ha we have to do that and tell it to detect them, but we'll go through that in another video. And display screens, and that is it. It is not difficult to set up a drone on your Radio Master Boxer radio. It's actually very simple. Everything I've shown you is all you need to do. You don't even need to do the sounds if you don't want to. You don't have to have those. So it's, it's a matter of making up the a basic model 
and then going and choosing, you know, setting up your OX1, which is channel five for your um, arm. And then normally the uh, OX2, which is channel six, will be your um, mode button. And then if you want a buzzer, that will be on the next channel on OX3. Next thing I want to show you is, as I've mentioned earlier in the video, I set my arm switch up in the non-default position. So this is what happened when you would turn your radio on. So let's just do this. Let me turn the radio off. So I'm putting my arm switch in the position which I want it, and that's back towards me. So if I turn on the radio. Welcome to HTX. Switch warning. Okay, so you can see we got a switch warning there. That's because my switch for my arm is forward towards me. So the, the, how we change that so we don't get that warning, if you happen to do a custom way of having your switch position, you know, you want a three position switch in the middle, then what you need to do is, we're just going to do that. We have to go into the model settings. And if we go down, and you can see I've got switch A, it's in the forward position. So if I just change that now, and you see I just tapped it and it changed it. So if I cycle through, so I want the default position in the forward position, and then we can come back out. And if we now turn off the radio and turn back on, so my switch is now in the disarm position, which is towards me. Welcome to HTX, disarmed acro mode. And as you see, we don't get any warnings. So that's it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments section below um, if you need any help with this. And I will try and assist you. And thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.